Welcome to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage. Today we're going to be having a look at Polkadot. Let's get into the charts and see what's going on. Okay, before we jump into the micro time frame stuff that we're going over here, I just want to go over the couple of ideas that we're looking for here on the bigger picture. So there is potential here that we could have had a triangle further back here where this is B, C, D, and E. And what we are looking for is the potential that we are breaking down for a three wave structure. Now, if this is the case, what we are looking for is the possibility that this structure to the downside here could be an A, a B, and a C to the downside. Now, this would only be confirmed by moving down past this $4.20, but effectively what we'd be looking for would be starting to see five wave structure developing one to one off of our current high here would actually put us down towards this 346. So if we do start to break down in a bigger way here, then potentially we could be looking for the C wave to the downside. Now, if we are looking at this, what we would be saying here is that potentially the structure to the upside, we would be counting this as A, B, and C into this high. This is our X wave and another A, B, C here to form a Y wave. Now, it is always possible that this could become an A wave. We get a B wave and then we still see a push to the upside. So we'd have to see whether we actually manage to hold above this low here or whether we start to develop a bigger five wave move to the downside looking for this C wave to start. Now, if we are looking at this in this way, we don't have enough structure here to say that this is playing out. But the first thing that we would need to see is actually starting to break down below some of these key lows that we have here. And ideally, what I'd like to see is a move down towards this $4.68 for confirmation, in which case what we'd then be looking for would be the potential of this becoming one, two, three, four, and then we'd be looking for a five wave structure down. From that point then we'd be looking to build on that and then see this move start to break down in a bigger way so the other way we were discussing this move in the previous video was looking at the possibility that this could be one two three four and five into this low now there is a potential here that if we are looking at this structure in this way that this could mean that our fifth wave that we were looking for has already completed now we were looking for a lower target here three dollars sixty three to this two dollars eighty six here now the thing that we have to be cautious of here is that if this is actually just a wave one here we could potentially still see this develop to the upside as a three wave move so until we actually move above seven dollars ninety we need to just be careful that there is still potential this goal could become one two and then we could still see price look to push down towards this 1618 level here, which would be this $3.22, in which case I would then look for this additional fifth wave down towards the $3.02 and two to this $2.72 as a possible target area. So until we actually manage to break back above this rejection area here, which is this $6.90 to this $5.76, we need to still be cautious because there's a couple of ways we can count this move. Um, that we could still look for continuation to the downside afterwards. So we need to just be careful that until we actually start to take this fourth wave high here of this 790, we can still look for potential to come back to the downside here. So this would still be looking for that possibility of a fifth wave down. Now, we were also talking about the possibility we could see a break to the upside here, where we are looking for this X wave store, where we have a bigger A, B, and a C, looking to form a flat correction here. Now, if this is the case, what we are looking for is a five wave move to the upside. Ideally, it can technically also be a three wave move. And what I'd want to see here is basically this A wave getting taken out, though the one to one of this would actually put us down here towards the 689. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. That would align with coming back into this high. So if we just see three waves to the upside, this would align with coming back into this area. OK, so let's get into the lower degree counts here. So at the moment, what we need to see here is whether we continue to follow that bullish count. So the last time we were talking about this, we were saying we had this as one, two, three, four, and five. And what we are looking for is a corrective move to the downside. Now, what we could have is that this is A, this is B as a triangle, and we're looking for a C wave to the downside. One to one would be here at this $4.85. And what we'd be looking for effectively here would be a five wave structure to the downside. Now, it is potentially possible that within here we are already starting to form this where this could become one two and then we could see three four five and look to push down lower here towards this 469 to this 465 if we do continue on down here though we need to just be aware that once we cross this 0.618 which is also aligning with this low over here at this five dollars and eight cents this could be enough technically to complete this as a corrective move. So we just need to be on the lookout for this. One to one is here at this $4.85. If we do see price continue to push down in this way, possibly we could move down to the one to one. 
and still look for that possibility of a C wave up. So what we could see here is effectively this whole structure here could be A, B, and C, in which case 629 is going to be the area that we're looking for as a C wave. If we do look to push down to this golden pocket area, if we do look to only push down higher up here and possibly move down to that one to one, which would be this 486, what we could then see is price could then look to reverse to the upside from that point. Now, if we did move down to that golden pocket, like I said, this one to one is here. Now we do have potential here that if we do move up high enough, what we could see is that this move could actually turn into one, two, three, four, and five to the upside, in which case we could be looking to come back up here and challenge the top of this channel as well as this high over here. But what we need to do here first is to see this correction complete. Look for this $4.47 to hold. If we start to push down past this $4.47, it starts to become more likely we're going to hit this invalidation point. And like I said previously, you know, we need to be careful because if this is just actually A, B, and C, what we could see is this move could start to break down more impulsively. So what we'd want to see for more confidence that we are going to see a break to the upside is we need to get back above this 549. Until we break this high, we need to be careful because this move can always develop into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we could look to start to break down in a bigger way here. Um, so we need to be on the lookout for that idea of that C wave here. But as long as we actually stay above this 420, we do have potential here that we could start to see this move play to the upside as just either an ABC, in which case this could just be a corrective move and we'd then still possibly look to break down afterwards. Or alternatively, if we do move up high enough here to the 755, we could be looking at that potential of a break to the upside in a bigger way here. Having a look at the daily CPR lines here, what we can see is we've got an inside value here on our CPR. Now this normally indicates either two things, that we're going to continue ranging or there's going to be a break away from this zone. Now we have actually broken to the downside here. And what I want to be on the lookout for here is that we still have targets open to the downside here at this 506 and this 495. If we do continue to fall away here, possibly we could see price get gravitated towards these levels. Now price can move through these, so we need to be aware of that, but I will be looking out for potential pivoting on these lines to see whether we actually continue to move down and find support, even if it is just temporarily at these points. If however we do look to continue to hold this low here we could potentially look for some kind of a reversal to the upside here in which case i'd be looking out for possible resistance here towards this 527 this uh, 337 and this 339 if we do move back to the upside here we could still potentially find resistance to these levels if we do manage to flip back above these central lines here what we do have is the potential that we could see price come back to the upside here $5.49 is our R1 target. We have this 560, 571, and this level here of this 582 as potential targets for today. So if we do look to flip these back above this level, we could be potentially looking for something like that playing out. Now, if we just throw the weekly ones on, because we've got some new weekly CPR lines, we can see here that we still have potential to find support here on this S1 line, which we haven't really interacted with yet. Just sitting here towards this 5091. Now, if we do see price continue on down to this level and we look to find support, what we could see is price could be gravitated back towards our central lines here at this 539. And we have this level here of this 540. However, if we start to lose this S1 line, what we could see is price could be gravitated down towards this 479. We have this 448 lower down here as well. So we're going to be keeping an eye on these levels. If we do look to hold this S1, we do have potential to come back up and retest these or alternatively to look to reverse. If we do look to reverse, what I'll be looking out for is the potential that during this week we could look to test out this 569. We have this higher target here of this $6 and higher up here we also have this 630 as potential targets for this week. Now flipping onto the monthly CPR lines, what we can see is that we still have the central support below us. So if we do see price push down here, we have this at this 505. So that would align with coming back down one more time looking for that S1 line. If we do move back into the zone, potentially we could look to find support on these lines. Alternatively, lower down, we have the central line here at this 493 and this 481 as potential support below us here. If we start to lose these central lines here, then possibly we could see price come back down into this 
444 level if we are looking for this s1 target other targets for this month to the downside is this 371 and this 320 if we look at our upside targets here we can see that we've interacted with this r1 twice now if we do look to move up again we do have the potential to test out this 617 and this 691 during this month but i would only be looking at this provided that we can continue to hold the support of these central lines Okay, so I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please smash the like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video and leave us some feedback down below. Also in the description, you'll find a link to the Discord. Come check it out. It's free to join. Everyone have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.